You're going to have to make it worth my while. Well, now you've made us look like mere hired thugs. Uh, well, okay. I can only pay you 80 caps right now, but I'll scrape together more after we take care of Cook. This'll work better if I talk to Cook by myself. You're probably right. I'm so angry at Cook, I might lose control. Just get him to leave Darcy alone. How far do you want me to go? As far as you need to. I don't want him dead, but otherwise, he deserves to suffer for what he's done. Oh no. Whatever it is, keep it to yourself. Better that way. Read the public and be prepared. I wanted so much more from my life than this. Ugh. Hey there. Don't let my husband drag you into any of his nonsense. You heard about that settlement? Covenant? Nice. Real clean. Strict entrance requirements, though. Yeah, yeah, I'll be there. I just have to close up. We need to talk, Cook. Oh, yeah? Is there some kind of problem? Maybe. Paul Pembroke sent me to sort things out. You've got to be kidding me. Paul sent you? That weaselly little shit never could solve his own problems. I told Paul I'd get you to leave Darcy alone. Nothing personal. Just business. Nobody tells me what to do in my own place. You'd better turn around and walk out of here while you still can. Last chance. Are you gonna stay away from Darcy or not? Take it easy. We can talk this through. This whole thing with Darcy and me. Bad idea. I admit it. Not like I planned it or anything. She was just always hanging around here. You know how it is. Look, tell Paul it's over. I swear, I won't even let her in my bar anymore. Is that good enough for you? That's a good start. Something more concrete would help. Yeah, okay, I get it. I have an idea. Something I've been thinking about for a while already. Kill two birds with one stone, you know? This had better be good. Here's the deal. I have some other, um, businesses on the side. One of them is helping Nelson Latimer spend his dad's money to make himself feel like a gangster. I like the part about the money. Me and Nelson are supposed to be meeting some gentlemen from Good Neighbor to exchange Nelson's cash for their chems. My plan is simple. We take the money and the chems. Hold on. I have some questions first. Yeah? What is it? What about afterwards? Won't everyone be after us? Come on. You know the answer. No witnesses. Anything else? Why do you want to screw these guys over all of a sudden? Oh, it isn't all of a sudden. Nelson's been complaining about my cut for a while now. He may be thinking about trying to strike out on his own. I've been waiting for the right opportunity to present itself, and here it is. 
Anything else? Why smuggle chems into Diamond City? Chems aren't illegal here. Sure, but Mayor McDonough takes a big cut of all the chems brought into town. Not everybody thinks that's good business. That's where me and Nelson come in. He fronts the cash, I make the arrangements. Cheap chems for Diamond City. Everybody wins. Anything else? That's it. Okay. So you're in then? I don't know. An awful lot of unknowns. Trust me. We can do this. No problem. The meeting's always in the same place. They always bring the same number of guys. They'll never know what hit them. I guess it's worth the risk. Let's do this. Now you're talking. I promise, you won't regret it. In a few hours, we're both going to be sitting pretty. You cause trouble, there's gonna be trouble. Get it? Man. You better get I'm the fuck out of here if you know what's pistol. good for you. What's going on here? Nothing to do with you. Unless you want your face blown off. Got it, asshole? Are you gonna hand over the money in chems, or do I have to kill you? Are you serious? Kill this asshole! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Hey. Yes, sir. Of course. I think you have more immediate problems. Wait, I can help you! This here? This is nothing compared to what's at Morowski's chem lab. Keep talking. Where do you think these chems come from? We've got a lab. Right here in the Commonwealth. But you'll never find it on your own. Not without my help. Tell me what you know first. Well, okay. I'm trusting you, right? The lab is in the old Forley fish packing plant on the waterfront in South Boston. Let's hear about all the security. The place is overrun with feral ghouls, which don't even look twice at my crew, because they're all ghouls like me. My idea, by the way. I assume there's more to it than getting past the ferals. You assume, right. The real security is a system of tripwires that have to be triggered in exactly the right order to open the door to the lab. You'd never even know the lab was there when the door is closed. You seem awfully proud of this lab. Yeah, I am. Moraski's operation wouldn't be nothing without me. There's a terminal that will bypass the tripwires and open the door to the lab. And I have the password. So, I have your promise, right? If I give you the password, you let me walk? And you promised to not tell Morowski that I had anything to do with this? Yeah, yeah, of course. I already told you. After I leave here, I've never heard of you in my life. The password is Applejack. There, now you've got everything, and I'm completely screwed forever. I hope you can live with that. Sorry, Trish. What? Oh! Ah! 